Whatever you say, Patton. Before Disney made live-action films so parents could relive their childhoods. Return to the era when Disney made live-action films so parents could end their kids' childhoods. Let's get rid of the evidence. Gonna snag him, gag him, drag him through town. Put his head in the river, let the pup drown. In something like a Shirley Temple movie, but instead of singing and dancing, it's all drifters and dogfights. <laughs> The Journey of Natty Gan. Travel way back to Depression era Canada? A time where the insults were color based. My dad says he's a red. She's just yellow. Hell if I am. The iPhone looked like this, and every room was full of men in hats going rubble, 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 rubble. <laughs> There, you'll meet Meredith Salinger as the cutest little street urchin, Natty Gann, a girl so hopeless they made her a Cubs fan. When her father leaves for a steady job in the suicide forest, it's widow's work. Natty will live out every child's fantasy, becoming a boxcar hobo to track down your dad who stepped out for a manual labor job and never came back. Or at least that was my fantasy growing up. I really hope you find those cigarettes someday, Pop. <laughs> But Natty's not alone. She'll share the road with a young John Cusack, which sounds like a dream come true till you realize they share an enclosed space and his diet is mostly beans. Just eat the damn beans, kid. And tagging along is the friendly wolf, Wolf, a fiercely loyal companion who will keep her warm and protect her from harm. <laughs> Even though Natty totally abandons him. Come back! Come on. Now. Twice. Go. Any more dogs you want to ditch, Nat? You'll be okay. Jeez, I was kidding. F Embark on a cross-country trek that makes Leo and the Revenant look like Julia Roberts in Eat, Pray, Love. Because this little girl has to scavenge her own food, take some beatings. Damn kid! Ow! You dumb kid! Escape from CrossFit for orphans. Hands on hips. One, two. Outrun an angry mob and hoof it solo over the Rocky Mountains. All while Ray Wise makes two hours of the world's most depressing phone calls. Will you tell me what the hell's going on? She wouldn't just run away like that. What's the matter, Gan? We found my kid's wallet buried under a train in Colorado. Man, this is a tough watch for a kid's movie. Can we just put on Dream a Little Dream instead? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. So if you're in the mood for a beautiful, satisfying tale of a girl's triumph over impossible odds, put the kids to bed, because you probably aren't equipped to handle the questions they'll have after. You're a pretty thing, you know that? That's nonetheless an example of great kid and dog acting, where the child star grew up to turn out remarkably successful, attractive, and sane, while the dog starred in this movie where he gets abandoned, the thing where he gets massacred, and White Fang where he's again sent away by a precocious half-orphan. Go on, go! Get out of here! It's okay, Jed. I think you're a good boy. I would never typecast you like that. Starring Bitor Snowdog. He's Nat's father, but does not tell how most scary boy are all bummers. I'm the scat man, beep a bop beep a bo. Freight man out. And marry this Salinger. Lady and some tramps. Happy birthday, Meredith. Only 10 more years to go until we do one for Lake Placid. More like Lake Flaccid. <laughs> uh, I'll punch that up next year.